from welcome to uh, Disney's Animal Kingdom. Welcome. Happy Earth Day! Yes, it's Earth Day and it's also Dag's birthday. And it is She's 21, she's legal. For the planet. There's time to party for the planet today. There's signs everywhere because it's Earth Day and it's Dag's 21st birthday. Also, look at this display that they have set up over here. I want to show you guys because I don't know about you guys, but I've always been somebody that's like very um, cautious of like the earth and like what we're throwing away and like how it's affecting us and the planet that we live on. I do really, really good with um, recycling back home and trying to do like my part of like helping out the earth. So I want to show you guys this display because this puts it to perspective like how much crap we actually like throw away and what we find in our oceans. So I'm going to show you. So we got this display going on right now. And it's like, you know, the penguin and they're sitting on like the ice, but everything that makes up this sculpture is all plastic that they found in the oceans. Isn't that crazy, guys? So like, you know, next time you're throwing away like an ice chest or a plastic lawn chair, think about that that's going back into our oceans. So there's there's some tea for you folks. It's about it. Thank you. Oh, Would you like to hi. Talk more about this penguin sculpture? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, what do you see? I heard you you were surfing it. What's it made out of? Um, plastic and trash. Plastic, plastic and trash. So there's an organization called Washed Ashore. Okay. They actually do large beach cleanups in Oregon. They go to the coast of Oregon. They pick up all the trash that they can find and they turn it into these amazing sculptures. So oh wow. We do this to try to raise awareness of the issue of all the single-use plastics that end up in our waters. So what do you guys know the term single-use plastic? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's so, single-use plastic? So like anything disposable, like a straw, plastic mm -hmm. floor. Yeah, things that we can't use again. Lids, yeah. That's a huge one is plastic straws, right? They're not recyclable. Same with plastic utensils. So those are some really, really big ones. So instead of using those things, we can try to use reusable straws. So I know I keep like a little metal straw in my backpack. Mm -hmm. um, once you've got one, it just makes life so much easier. We're trying to skip the straw if you don't really need one anyway. Mm -hmm. um, doing things like using reusable grocery bags at the store, reusable water bottles instead of plastic ones, all make a huge difference. So I'd encourage you when you get home, teach your friends about how awesome it is to reduce our plastic waste. Love that. If you'd like, these are, this is a bit about the yeah. penguins that are modeled after. It's an Adelie oh, penguin. Um, Disney Nature just came out with a film called Penguins Last Week. Ooh. If you're able to see it in the next couple days, the first week of proceeds from the movie actually is going to be donated to wildlife conservation. So, so thanks so much for stopping by. Guys. Thanks so much. Of course, have a wonderful day. Thank you. Of course. So, guys, so um, yeah, save all that planet, was girl. save the planet. Save Do the your planet. part. I always use my reusable bags. I always try to like recycle any kind of plastic that I have, whether it be water bottles, plastic bags. If I just so happen to forget my bags at the grocery store, which doesn't happen often, yeah. I try to be really good about it. Just go paperless. Um, and you can. yeah, exactly. Go paperless. Do not have any like statements or bills coming in from like your banks or anything try to do all that like electronically and like just be good like this is our earth we have a short time on here and like with the way that we're going right now we're killing it not in a good way <laughs> so <laughs> no so try to be good to our earth it's really beautiful and honestly i want my kids and my grandchildren to know what polar bears are someday so like just do your facts, part facts, facts. <laughs> I, hmm, God, I don't know why this literally does not get old. Sometimes I'll go to like Hollywood Studios, Magic Kingdom, okay, and anywhere else, I'm like, okay, yeah, I kind of don't want to be here, but like this never gets old. Never gets so old. Like I just love this so much. It's so green and so oh, colorful. It's so pretty, and then she's 21. She's feeling hot. She's looking good. Full oh. adult. Yes. Take her seriously now because she's 21. <laughs> Around, should be here forever. All right, so our first plan of action is to get food. We're gonna we are try starving. a new place. We're gonna try the Nomad Lounge. Really? So that's like about the it. lounge next to Tiffin's, which is like this like crazy fancy yeah. restaurant. Yeah. You can't always get in, but we're gonna see what we can do. We're gonna see what we can do today. If now we got a backup plan to go to Harambe Market because we've never eaten there exactly. before. So, some way or another, yes. we're getting food today. Yes, <laughs> but we are starving, so we need food now. Okay, so here we are at Nomad Lounge. It was literally 
just like a walk-up kind of situation. Like we just allowed. came, it was like, like yeah, just salon. Like you, you, like. you sit anywhere that you like. There's outside seating, so we're sitting outside right now, and there's some seating inside. The inside seating is really cool. There's a bar, and it's literally like you can just come in, order a couple appetizers, have a couple drinks, and it's like the chillest thing ever. Also, if you can hear the music, I'm living for the music. I love it so much. And also, like we can't like we can't really see above this, but like the view is not terrible either. Pandora's like right there, like they just handed us the menu and it's so it's cool. It's gorgeous. There's like little journal entries for like everything. Yeah, it's so cool. Also, Joe Rody is literally right next door and Alex's face. He's face. going to come in later. Yeah, so Alex's face just like lit up. It's like the happiest that I've probably ever seen him in my like time knowing him. And um, <laughs> if we get to meet, brought us here, so I <laughs> if we meet like, Joe Rody, it'll be like a dream come true because like if you guys know, like Joe Rody had a huge part in Animal Kingdom. Like this whole this is like his this is his park. Like this is his creation, and I would love to thank the man that literally like has my entire heart because this park is like everything to me so well and like know. the things that he does for conservation and yeah, imagineering exactly. and like yeah the concept he's come up with and the stories that he's telling yeah are some of the just amazing they're just amazing yeah so i would really like to see this yeah so we are going to have some drinks have some food um and hang out until our fast passes start at like four o'clock but like right now I'm Honestly, literally I'm so cool happy so like, like I'm so like happy just yeah. like sitting here yeah. this is exactly why I love Animal Kingdom I just my heart we got our drinks and Yo. we're literally Yo. <laughs> living it's so good it's like ginger beer and mint are like uh like passion fruit or something it's so I don't know it's really good yours is like really tart and like really minty and I like that and then mine's uh it was a hibiscus henna right so it's yeah, like, it's like a hibiscus, hibiscus tea, with syrup. yeah simple syrup and then it also had like um soda in it or something it's but it's literally so good so refreshing and so sweet I like it a lot oh we're so happy right now <laughs> I don't even know what to say about yeah. all this food as a child screams. Yeah. <laughs> this is not all look delicious. And also. Oh my gosh. Affordable. Yes, and it's not that bad. Like those are my sliders right there. That's a tuna poke bowl. Okay, and bowl. then this is the bread service that they have when it comes to things like dipping sauce. Right sauce. Like a sauce. So, I'm excited to try full review coming up. Really excited. Official review. Now that the sliders are gone, the coke mm. is gone, and the bread service is being worked on still. So good. How did you like your poke bowl? It was good. It was really fresh, there's a lot of tuna in there, which for the price is pretty good. It's $14 for that. Um, really delicious, it's a nice cucumber and seaweed salad with that. Mm -hmm. um, I just scarfed it down, it's great on like a nice day like today, just to eat it outside. Mm -hmm. The bread service is really cool. Lots of bread I've never tried before, obviously, and some really cool sauces. Um, you get a lot of food for eleven dollars, so if you're feeling like you need to like pack some car carbs in, that's the way to do it. Really fun. Uh, what about the sliders? Um. Okay. So these sliders were absolutely delicious. Um. Do you, they have Peli Peli everywhere? Do you know about Peli Peli? Um. I mean, I know about it, but they don't have it everywhere. They don't have it everywhere. Okay. So. This is like what I feel like eating at Pali Pali would be like if they had like a lounge like this in Animal Kingdom. Because there's tons of like, Pali Pali is all African flavors and stuff and so I really feel like those Wagyu burgers, like sliders that I had, that tasted very similar to a burger that I've had there before. Mind you, Pali Pali is like so expensive. Have you ever eaten at Pali Pali before? No, but I've heard of it. It is ridiculously expensive. This is not terrible. The sliders that I had, I think, were sixteen dollars. Came with two sliders and yuca fries. The yuca fries are so good, and the wagyu sliders, like the beef, was just so good. It was so flavorful. They had that like tomato sauce kind of like on top of it, so it was just like really delicious. And I'm I'm all around very really rich. happy. Very yes, rich. very rich, like very flavorful. All around really happy with this experience. Really happy that we chose this, <laughs> and um, definitely would be coming back again. Now. Alex, yeah. we need to tell the world about 
the breakup of the century. Okay. So I woke up this morning, the worst thing on the planet. I love Rivers of Light. Okay? It's my favorite show to watch in this new world. I love it so much. I got the news this morning that they're changing it and they're adding um, a bunch of Disney movies to it. And I don't know how to feel about it. I don't like being negative. And I like to look on the positive side. But the main reason I like Rivers of Light so much is because there weren't any Disney movies in it. It's all this original thing that's all about nature and the real world. I felt more connected to the world that way, so I will have to see on Memorial Day how it turns out. <laughs> but I don't know how to do it right now. So, um, now we know what you really wanted to talk about. <laughs> what I was really talking about was your new drink and how Melon Frosty okay. is long gone. Oh, you're talking about that. Too. Yes. <laughs> but you have a lot on your mind this morning, oh, Mr. Alex. <laughs> this is called the Ganjabar Fizzy. It's like a ginger beer with a bunch of fruit. And mint in it, and it's delicious. Yeah. And I would say I could do this all day, every day. And if you know me, that's what I said about Melon Frosty. This is kicking it out. I think I would have to kill Melon Frosty if I could just drink this all day. Yeah. We played a game of Would You Rather. Melon this Frosty, one. or. Yeah, that and that, that one. Oh, there's just so much more flavor, and it's just delicious. Yeah, for sure. Don't get me wrong, Melon Frosty is so good. <laughs> But yeah, really happy that we decided to come here. Um, everything was just delicious. Yes, everything was delicious. Oh, yeah. And um, oh, yeah. I got a full we'll tummy and now we're ready to go take on the park now. Mm -hmm. But like in about another hour because yeah. we we're too full it's and a lounge. Um, it's a lounge. We could just like stay here if we wanted to, which is yep. nice. And it's like some people have moved out so it's, it's a little less crowded now. But, Look it! She's so majestic! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! I love her so much! Oh, no. oh my goodness! Hi! <laughs> All right, so um, we just got done with it's, it's tough to be, tough to be it's a bug. tough to be a bug. I'd never done it before. That was fun. It's fun. I actually really enjoyed that. I thought that was really cute. I freaked a lot of the kids out. So that's my favorite part. Is it traumatizing? <laughs> yeah, I don't think any kid is ever gonna want to come in contact with a bug ever again. And so it's just funny. It was great to hear all the screams, but we're looking for a bathroom right now because we need to potty break. And then after that, yeah, uh, a dinosaur. Dinosaur, first that dino. pass. We gotta go get that dino. It's such a good because it's literally in the tree of life. Like, yeah. Oh my gosh, yes. The cue for it is like. The cue is like more of those carvings. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. It's like, it's like you are in the tree of life and it's crazy. Mm -hmm. I did not even realize that that was the cue. Yeah. So that's really awesome. I liked it. Wow. Mm. She's looking good today. <laughs> so good. We're here in Dinosaur. <laughs> Do it. Oh, there's a puddle. Oh gosh. <laughs> it's like dripping. Oh gosh. There it is. 